Breaking news. New resurrection characters are here. Also, new sub story has been added. As well as, beginner pack is getting a revamp. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. So, as you can see, there is a new sub story coming. We'll start with the top news. Alright? Right, so, sub story, things like loneliness added. Okay? So, do you want to do us the honours of reading what it says? So, obviously, got a new sub story. And it's going to be there forever, like they always are. Um, it's coming on 26th, which is tomorrow, for you that live in the UK. And it's probably the next day for you as well, so just don't worry about that. And it says all quests set to normal difficulty, but basically it's just going to be exactly the same as all the original um, sub-stories. You always get soul ticks when you finish them, and it's all to do with things like loneliness. You know, you've got little boy. Ichigo. Like the original, basically. When his mum dies. Yeah, it's basically the beginning of the whole anime, isn't it? Yeah, it's a start where each guy's mummy dies. Alright, and next, we will go with, there is a new beginner pack. So, as you know, if you start the game from the beginning, or you're new to the game, like... That's exactly the same thing, Bruce. No. That's the same thing. No, because some people might be re-rolling the game no, to try enough. and get certain packs, and others might be new to the game. Okay. So if you're new, or if you're re-rolling, beginner pack costs you 4 four ninety nine UK pounds don't know what it costs otherwise but it's changing so if you get if you want to download the game and you want to re-roll and you want to get this pack get it now basically because this news i'm going to read now telling you what what are you say basically on the 31st of this month which is literally less than a week away basically a week now they're bringing out the new beginner pack and it's gonna i think basically it's gonna, so the old one that's out now is just Decent characters, but I think they're bringing out better characters for this one. So it says being revamped, so I'm guessing you're going to have better characters. And just, I don't know if it, um, how it's going to work. Well, but yeah, so what you want to do is buy, if you, you want to basically just buy the original one now. So then when this one comes out, you can also buy this one as well. It just gives you a bit of a jump start and just makes the game easier. You get more orbs that way, you get, you know, it's just easier. Yeah, okay, so let's read through this. It says, thanks for playing Bleach Brave Subs. We will be launching a newly revamped beginners pack on the date shown below. Those players who have already brought the current beginners pack will be able to buy the new pack as well. So you can still get on there, buy the old pack, and you can still buy the new pack, and you can have two level 200 characters, I think. Yeah, the original one now gives you a level 200, and it's choose a six star. Yeah. This date is the 31st of the 3rd at 8. I don't know if that's UK or anywhere else. Right, so current beginners pack... The currently available beginners pack will no longer be available as of the third of the thirty first of the first at seven fifty nine. But the beginners choose a six star ticket that is part of your current beginner pack will still be usable after the thirty first of the third. So if you are considering buying the current beginners pack, now is the time to do so. We hope you continue to enjoy the game. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Buy the pack. You can also buy the new one coming out. I think the new so one is basically exactly the same, just better characters involved. It's going to still be choose a six star, probably. You're just going to have different characters instead of the ones you've got now. And the one you have now is actually really good. You get some really good characters in. You could you could get people like Flyerson, who is a super good character. People like um, Lost Agent Stoyphone, who I got when I opened it. She's really good. Um, there's so many good ones. We can't show you because we've already opened it. We would show you, but... Yeah. yeah, there is loads of good Well, ones. what we will say is also, where it says choose a six star, what it means is you, you don't choose out of the entire list of every character. It opens, you'll get five characters that pop up. They are the five characters you can then choose from and pick who you want. And the last bit of news of the day is new resurrections. So we have Ukiola and Full Hollow Ichigo. So... As you see, it allows you to take an existing six star and use them to create a new six star. Okay, so Ukiora, he has 966 S, um, stamina. Attack is 681. His defense is 346. His focus is 335, and his SP is 759. He is an Aronka Spada. He is a Soul Reaper. So he has got some decent stats. I will admit he's got some good stats there. 
He gets a new, a new skill trait is normal attack damage plus 60. He's probably the best max. one I've seen getting a new in, with the new soul trait because now he has strong attack and normal attack. Yeah. It's very good. And as you can see, he has long reach, frenzy, splinter, bruiser, devastation. And then the guy I've been waiting for a hell of a long time in this game at once was the strongest character in this game if you played it a, a long time ago. And I'm a little disappointed. Because he's not as good as I'd hoped. Now, he's a Soul Reaper Hollow. His stamina is 978. His attack is 755. His defense is 342. His focus is 337. And his SP is 696. Now, he's good. He's got some good stats. But I would have just thought he had the main better than he is. Because he was the best character. He is still... Yeah, he's an old character now, but they never released a new version of him in the game. They released some different versions of Ukiora, they've released different versions of base Ichigo, and never an, a new full hollow Ichigo. So for his stats to be there, I'm not over keen. So he gets his new soul trait, it's last ditch survival rate plus 80%, and the last ditch is that if you die, you've got 80% chance you come back to life instantly. See, that, that, I think that's alright, but it's not that great. I, I think they could have him a lot better, because... 100% at least, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, I get the and last ditch, because that good. in the show, or in the manga, Ichigo dies, and then the Hollow takes over, so he technically comes back yeah, to life. there isn't many um, last ditch people, but I don't think... But it should have been at least 100%. I don't see yeah, why 80%. Yeah, it's strange that they did 80. Right, so he has Long Reach, Adrenaline, Devastation, Bruiser, Berserker, and Splinter. So they are his stats... That is him. So they're the two characters that come in. If you've got them, then it's worth resurrecting. You get, if you do resurrect, you get all the souls again that you got previously from leveling them up to 100 and 120, and then you get some to leveling up to 200 as well, don't you? So yeah. You get all the orbs back. You get the Hogaku's back. It's all just you need to get certain items, and that is all we have. All the news we is done. Yep. So. So you know you guys got to, you got to get your bullets out. You got to get that four quid or how many it is for any of you in different countries. You got to buy the beginner pack, and then you'll get a new one. You definitely will. Why wouldn't you want two six stars just for a price of not much? Yeah, I know. You definitely want it. Okay, well without further ado, that is all we have time for today. If you like what we've done, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell so notified, and we will see you next time.